So Mike Sherry, we're here at the Munster Rugby Talent Camp in Rockwell and I know that you and Sean Henry have just um, set a bit of a task for the lads here. Can you, ex can you explain <laughs> the purpose of this particular exercise, Mike? Yeah, um, basically we're just going to give them a few uh, warm-up drills because uh, they all have their own techniques. You can't tell a fella exactly what to do technique-wise. Um, they all have their own, it's unique to everyone. So um, just basically a few warm-up drills. Um, try impart a bit of our own knowledge which we received similarly when we were back at this uh, at this age from uh, fellas like Fla or um, Frankie who would have come down to us and um, basically that's about it. And in terms of, you know, um, you say you got your instruction like from, from Jerry Flannery yeah. and the likes of that, how, how important, can you remember back to that to that age you were to, to have monster players coming in to, to do that sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was huge, yeah, you'd... Um, you're kind of on your own basically until um, you, had, you had your own technique and then a fellow like uh, Fla would come along who was known as one of the best shows in the world and um, he, he, he said one thing that really stuck out which um, you know you can't tell a fella exactly how to throw whichever way they want to throw is their own technique but um, I basically copied his own technique and just uh, modified it a small bit but um, it was huge yeah he really uh, really got you thinking about what you were doing how you were warming up you know the kind of strong core muscles you need for all the different aspects of throwing so really opened your eyes to things that you wouldn't have known about before and for for aspiring hookers what, what other in in terms of of accuracy and throw, and, and, and throw, what, what, what other what other exercises would you do or would you say or, or recommend they do or what do you do to improve your your your, your line out throwing well we're very lucky in ul um we have um ian costello who's there uh, pretty much 24 7 seven days a week he'll fit you in whenever he can um so we get a lot of competitive throwing sessions during the week against each other and uh, we've kind of built a platform and we have it kind of materialistic at this stage um, where he's up on a platform and you're hitting him at different different kind of throws, flat throws, slab throws and uh, we have an opposing jumper there so it's very materialistic um, we do a lot of that. We still do this um, when you're not, when he's not available or the, the facilities aren't available, we still go out into the pitch and just, just rep the throws, which you just can't beat. And when they, when they, how long would they, do they, we have them doing this and then what will they go on to do? Uh, they'll do about another five minutes of this. Um, so this is, you throw one good throw with your eyes open and then you try rep it with your eyes closed just to get the feel of it. Um, and then we'll uh, hand them over to BJ for scrummaging.